So in our review of algebraic concepts, our first topic for review is that of sets. Now a set is a well-defined collection of objects, which we will refer to as elements, which can include, but are not limited to, numbers. Now, for the purposes of this review, we're going to be discussing a set A. And we need to establish some notation for when an element is in the set, when it's not in the set, and then what or how do we define the set that contains no elements? Now, if an element x is in the set A, we denote it as follows. And we want to make a note that this symbol, the rounded E, means or reads is an element of the set. Now, how do we denote this if x is not in the set? So similar to the notation for when x is in the set, we use that same symbol, but put a dash through it to indicate that x is not in the set. Now, last but not least, how do we define a set that contains no elements? So we say that a set containing no elements is called either the empty set or the null set. And we denote this as a zero with a dash through it or simply empty braces. Now, how do we define sets of numbers or sets of elements? Well, when considering set notation, there are several different ways in which we can define a set. And here we're gonna explore two such cases. So the first way that we can define a set is using enumeration, which is also sometimes referred to as the roster method. And using this method for set notation, we simply list the elements in the set within braces. So let's look at an example to help us better understand. So in this example, we are using the roster method to define the set of all odd integers between 0 and 10. So notice we have the odd integers 1, 2, or 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 between our braces. So this is enumeration or the roster method. An alternative way to use set notation is what we call set builder notation. So set builder notation asks us to use a description of the elements to define a set. So again, to help us better understand this set builder notation, let's consider the same example as case one, but let's write the set of all odd integers between zero and 10 using a set builder form. So below is the set builder notation for the set of all elements between, or the set of all odd integers between zero and 10. So in this case, with set builder notation, the braces represent that we are working with a set. So this says the set of, now here we're defining the set of all elements to find 2k plus one. And this straight line represents the word such that. Now on the right hand side of the such that bar, we have the description of our variable k. So this says that k is an element of the integers and we read a comma as the word and. So we have the set of all integers k and the restriction that k is between zero and four. 